Good morning and welcome to morning meditation. Uh, we're going to look at Psalm 20 this morning. Verse 4 says, Grant thee according to thine own heart and fulfill all thy counsel. We will rejoice in thy salvation. In the name of our God will we set up our banners. The Lord fulfill all thy petitions. Now know I that the Lord saveth his anointed. He will hear him from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but will we remember the name of the Lord our God? And boy, isn't that true today. We'll remember the name of the Lord our God. He's the one that's in charge today. And some people do trust in different things. They'll trust in what uh, the government says. They'll trust in uh, what everybody else says. But uh, I want us to realize that we can trust God today. And He's in control. A uh, fellow pastor called it a complete miracle that churches were mentioned in the uh, first three businesses that be open in Massachusetts, and I tend to agree with them. That was nothing short of a miracle of God that churches can reopen in Massachusetts. That certainly shows us that God is the one in control. And God's in control not only of circumstances, uh, He's in control of uh, everything that goes on around us, and uh, there is a purpose for this virus. There is a reason uh, this happened. Uh, Romans 8.28 says, And we know that all things work together for good. You know, and that brings up a good question. Often people ask, Pastor, how can we find any good in sickness? find any good in death, find any good in uh, the destruction of sin. And I'm not saying that we find good in those things, but we do find that there is a blessing in the fact that the Lord heals, and sometimes the Lord takes people to heaven. It's according to His purpose, and many times uh, when things don't go according to our purpose, we kind of get upset at God and... Uh, think that God doesn't love us. And I want you to remember three things this morning according to this scripture. Uh, number one, uh, you're not going to be able to trust God if you don't realize God loves you. And for each one of us, we need to realize Psalms, that's all it's about. David will bring a complaint or a persecution to the Lord. And uh, through that, he sees that God loves him. Uh, number two, not only does God love us, God has mercy on us. Psalms tells us that He doesn't reward us according to all of our works, and aren't you glad for that? Not only does He love us and have mercy on us, but last of all this morning, we can find our hope in God. And so, I just want to encourage you with those three thoughts this morning. Some trust in chariots, some in horses, but we'll trust in the Lord our God. Of course, we need to be safe. Of course, we need to be careful. But let's not be over-fearful. Let's not be over-protective. Let's not sit at home and miss church and miss an opportunity to worship God uh, because we're afraid we may get sick. And uh, that's in the hands of the Lord. And we do need to be safe, and the church will be safe. Uh, but we want to trust the Lord, be wise, uh, we, you could check our website for announcements that have to do with upcoming events. Uh, but as soon as we can, we are going to get back to full church. For right now, we're just going to have the two services, and we're going to continue to trust the Lord to do miracles. I believe He wants us to build a family life center, get a Christian school started. And uh, many people say, well, I don't see how that's possible in the downturn of the economy and everything that's going on, well, it's a good thing we don't look at the economy. We look at the Lord. We live by faith and not by sight. And I want to encourage you this morning, if you don't realize He loves you, that He's merciful to you, that your hope is in Him, you are going to worry and doubt and be discouraged. God bless you and have a good day.